hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is soma and to all of you that keep coming back hello and welcome back quick reminder if you've never subscribed just to remind you to click that red button there that says subscribe and after that click the bell sign that way you get a notification whenever i upload a new video so as you can see in today's video i'm in my kitchen yeah i'm in my kitchen because we are cooking today we're cooking the thing i'm about to make i actually saw it on the channel of one of my youtube sisters her channel name is my life as favor she made this on her channel and i absolutely loved it so in my case i kind of improvised i didn't do it exactly like she did it she used a different kind of garden egg uh, egg plant and i used this kind this kind of different um uh, kind of uh, african eggplant but i basically borrowed the idea like when for me when it comes to cooking shows or whatever sometimes in cooking i don't necessarily have to go according to what somebody else is i just borrow the idea i kind of go around it and do it the way it suits me so i'm gonna let you guys watch this clip and i'm gonna let you guys see my um my garden egg i'm starting off with just the garden egg so i have it all chopped i'm gonna add a bit of aromat okay Aromat has salt in it, so I don't need to add salt. So, and a bit of water as well. Okay, I'm gonna, and then I'm just gonna cover it and let it cook. It's cooked now, so I'm just gonna put it aside. The other thing I actually want to say is that I don't really like frying my food. I would do anything at all to avoid frying or using oils. I do my best. To avoid that i'm gonna be using my salmon so i'm gonna cook my salmon i'm just gonna put a bit of water into that and i'm just gonna add my salmon my salmon um, is frozen so i'm gonna add my no cubes i'm gonna put two no cubes cameroon pepper i like my food spicy mixed herbs I'm obviously not doing it exactly the way she did hers. My thing about cooking is when I learn from somebody, I don't necessarily have to do it exactly the way that I'm taught. I kind of like improvise the way that suits me. I just kind of improvise whatever way suits me. So a bit of aromat again, just a bit of aromat. I'll just add a bit of thyme. Just add a bit more water into that. And I'll just cover it. So now my fish is all cooked. Okay, you can see I have a, li a little bit of uh, stock there. I'm gonna need that for my cooking. Okay, I'm just gonna pull my fish away. It's a little bit of olive oil there, and a bit of tomatoes. You know, when it comes to cooking, right, sometimes when I try to teach my friends that are not Nigerians, let's say someone that's white, and you try to teach them cooking, they keep asking things like how many ounces and how many pounds, and how many, like, Nigerian cooking. <laughs> Nigerian cooking, why don't they do all these pounds and ounces? You go don't use eye, take measure eye, you go sabi like that, you know? Nigerian cooking is never really taught in that way, like ounce or whatever. You are taught to to just, I don't even know how to explain it. You are taught to gauge with your eyes. I think it's a nice way to learn cooking because if you find yourself where there's no measuring cups, no measuring spoons or whatever, you should, you'll be, you be able to just go ahead and cook. Uh, another thing about Nigerian cooking is when you're learning Nigerian cooking, you, you, you're not necessarily learning to do exactly like the next person, but you kind of learn so that you know how it's done so you can put a bit, a bit of your own twist into it, like how much chili pepper you want, if you want more, you want less. I'm just trying to make sure that my tomato doesn't burn. Like it, I'm just trying to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom, you know, and start burning. So I'm gonna keep stirring it until I'm happy. I don't know what, but I'm gonna try and learn how to, I don't know how to say ounce, and my children are good at saying ounce and pounds or whatever, because they did home economics. You see, the plan here is to make sure that my tomato is not raw. You know, if it's raw, it's gonna taste. It doesn't really taste bad because it tastes more very fruity when it's raw. But that's not really 
how it should be you know in most African cooking Nigerian cooking you know your tomato should be cooked so I'm just gonna keep mixing it until I'm happy I don't really put salt in my cooking because the no cube has salt in it and the aromat has salt in it so what I do is after I'm done when I know it's almost ready I would taste it if I'm not happy about the amount of salt I have I would add more but most of the time, I can't remember the last time I used salt for my cooking. Most of the time, the salt in the no and the aromat is enough. And now I'm going to add my, my fish stock. So I'm just going to add that. Okay. Frozen spinach. bit of water I'm just gonna add another tiny bit I'm just gonna cover that. I'm just gonna cover that and give it time to cook. And then, you know, my spinach were frozen, so now they're completely defrosted and they are cooked. I'm just gonna add some fried onions. I'll show you what they look like. These are called fried onions. Fried onions. I'm just gonna put some in there. I absolutely love fried onions, it tastes amazing. So I'm just gonna add that in there and I'm just gonna throw my uh, garden egg in as well my garden egg in and just mix it in there I'm loving it already absolutely loving it looks really good I haven't tasted it but it definitely looks really good and I'm just gonna throw my fish in as well okay and I don't know if you can see this guys I'm just gonna bring the camera closer so you can see what it's looking like this is what it's looking like absolutely love it so what I'm going to do now is, I don't want my fish to break up into tiny pieces because I want to eat my fish. So I'm going to be careful with moving the whole thing around. At this point, I'm going to taste. If I need more salt now, I would add it. I'm just going to put a bit on my hand like so and taste it. Mmm! It is absolutely amazing. Amazing. So I'm just going to add a bit more water into it. A bit more, just a bit. Okay, a bit more water into it and just a bit more water into it. So I'm gonna then cover it and give it a few minutes. No wala na. No wala. Oya ko. And this is the final result. Definitely mine is not like favors. 100% not like favors. I think mine tastes better than favors. I don't care what she thinks. I don't care what she thinks. I think mine tastes much better than hers. A friend of mine came visiting me today and I had to share. I didn't want to share, but I had to share. But she loved it. She said it was really lovely. She, was, she actually did like it a lot. She really did like it. It actually tasted amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I think maybe try it. You know, I think you guys should try it. Feel free to go try favor style or try my style and see which one suits you best. Obviously, mine looked better than hers. And definitely mine tasted better than hers. I'm going to put a link below to her channel to... I'm going to put a link below to her channel. You can see what she made herself. And you can check out her channel as well. She does a lot of cooking and hair and stuff like that. She Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. It's goodbye, friends. And goodbye, friends.